Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I wish to begin by saying a particular thank you, as my colleague from the Bloc has done, for this occasion for the smaller parties to join in today in a nonpartisan sense. And for that, I thank particularly the Minister and the Government House Leader, whom I understand is largely responsible. Thank you. Le 11 novembre est November 11 is a day to remember all soldiers who died with the conviction that they had been sent to the front lines to defend freedom. We must uh, show our gratitude towards those members of the force, armed forces who made the ultimate sacrifice, who gave their lives to this noble cause. November 11th is an opportunity for Canadians to remember. We remember those men and women who gave their lives, the broken lives of soldiers who came back from war injured, broken in heart, mind, and spirit. Veterans of the Second World War, he grew up in London during the Blitz. I think he saw more death and destruction before joining the Army than once he was in, in, in uniform. And it was in going to war that my father became a pacifist. We recognize the sacrifice of so many who've gone into peacekeeping missions, into armed conflict, selflessly. There is no greater sports example of selflessness than to give your life for a larger cause. And we always say that their lives must not be in vain. But in doing so, we need to commit to greater efforts to avoid war, to avoid conflict. And we remember, and I'd like, we've mentioned many war heroes today in this chamber. I won't take long to mention a few more names. Those who've sacrificed so much in war and come back home to Canada and have had to continue to fight on behalf of other veterans. I'd, I'd like to particularly recognize Lieutenant Louise Richard, co-founder of Gulf War Veterans Association of Canada, who together with Captain Sean Bruya did so much to defend and help other veterans. Colonel Pat Strogren, who did so much as an ombudsman, and Corporal Dennis Manouge, whose recent efforts selflessly helped so many. And I want to thank, again, the Minister of Veterans Affairs for putting the matter to rest after Corporal Manouge's efforts in court. We recognize on November 11th the great sacrifices in wartime, sacrifices not only of individual soldiers, but of those who love them, those who lost them, those who welcome them home with open arms. We remember on November 11th that many have given their lives for the life that we enjoy today. On November 11th, we remember with gratitude. On November 11th, we remember and pray that war will be no more. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.